I'd like to show you here is the Adobe Illustrator workspace so that you can become familiar with what is there. When you first open your Adobe Illustrator document, you'll see up at the top is the menu bar. The menu bar has your basic menus, file, file save, file save for web, place, edit has your paste in the front, uh, your transparency flatten presets, tracing presets. Tracing presets are very important if you're going to use the live trace. Under object, you can group and ungroup and blend and do your live trace options here. Text wrap, crop. Type tool has everything associated with the type tool. A selection is very similar to that of Photoshop. You can select something and it inverse that selection. Filters are effects that when you apply them they are permanent. They are the same as the effects, a little few, a little more effects. Effects are editable. So you may wish to use the effects for a while until you understand what they're doing. View shows you how you can view. You can also find your rulers in this area, your guides, uh, your grid, your points, all that good stuff. Under window, you can open up particular windows, your layer panel, your info panel, your brush panel. Uh, some people also call these palettes. Palettes or panels, either one is correct for me. I like to use the window option to go to workspace and off of the recording area, you might see just a little hint of it. There's something that says basics. I like to select the basics window and that takes me to just that, Illustrator's very basic component. Next on the list is the control panel. And depending upon what you're working with, the control panel will, sh will, will show you some wonderful options that you have. You can change your fill here and your stroke and your stroke width and if you have brushes, work with your brushes and your styles. Next in the work area is the toolbox. Within the toolbox are all the necessary tools in order to create a wonderful document. Some of these tools have a small arrow down in the right hand corner. If you click and hold on that arrow, you see that there are tools underneath. This is important to know. You may wish to use something that's uh, hidden away somewhere. Now I'd like to show you the status bar, and that is down here in the left hand corner. As you can see, this document has never been saved. As we save, it'll tell us when it was saved. Give anything that is in a status report. You can also see that we are looking at a 50% of the original size. Drop down menu, you can zoom in this way instead of using a zoom tool. Next is over here on the right hand side, we're going to look at the color palette. Within the color palette, you have your colors, color guides, swatches, and under the swatches area you can also have your brushes and your symbols. Below this is usually your stroke, gradient, and transparency panels. Next comes your appearance palette. Your appearance palette can become important when you start utilizing your drawing skills. Here you can select just the fill to edit, just the stroke to edit, and with these you can actually put just effects on these areas, which you'll learn later. The graphic styles, you can create your own or use graphic styles that are there. Below the appearance palette is something very important. It's called the layers palette. The layers panel. Either way, I'm okay with it. Layers are very important. When you're getting a very intricate, detailed piece of art, you need separate airs to keep things on. Think of it as a cake. You have your bottom layer of your cake, and in between, 
the next layer up, you'll have some icing, and then you'll have another layer. Then you'll have icing on both of these layers. And then on top of the icing, you'll even have some artwork. And then on top of the artwork, you might have candles or confetti. And it can go on and on. That is a layers uh, component. You also have what is called the art board. Anything within the square is your art board area. Your art board area is where you want to keep your art. On the outside of your art board area is what they call scratch area. Unfortunately, unlike Photoshop, anything that you draw in your scratch area will be saved if you save for web. So you have to make sure you use your this right over here in your tools box. It's called the crop tool and make sure that you place your crop marks around your art board. So that will be the only thing that's saved. It's a very quick look at the Adobe Illustrator workspace.